Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I worship and adore your holy name. You are three times holy, Lord, and we give you thanks and we give you praise for your faithfulness, for your holiness, for the example that you have set in your word and in the life of your son, Jesus Christ, when he was here on earth. Father, I ask that you will forgive me of my sins and offenses I've done against you so that my prayer can enter your holy throne. Father, thank you for this day that you have given us the Sabbath day, a day of rest, a day that we can consecrate totally to you. Allow us to put aside our worries and our cares of the world, our jobs, our responsibilities outside of the church. Help us, Lord, to really have that spiritual rest and communion and consecration to you. Father, these things I ask in your son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Today's devotional is titled, Take Care of the Body. It was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Carlos Sunza. Our biblical base comes from Revelations chapter 1, verses 10 through 20. So says the word of God. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice, as of a trumpet, saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke to me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were like white, like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun, shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after this, the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. One of the most striking illustrations and profound teachings of the book of Revelation is found in the following passage. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, and he had in his right hand seven stars. He is the one who has the seven stars that represent the seven churches and their shepherds. Jesus Christ owns the church. He promised he would build it, take care of it, and bring it to glory. Many times humans act as if the church belongs to them, but it belongs to Jesus Christ, and all who are in it are his servants. In any decision about the church, the decipher factor should be, not what any person wants to be done, but what Jesus Christ does. The church is his body for Jesus Christ. The church is not just anything. He gave his life for it. Therefore, we must be very careful how we speak, act, or even think of Christ's church. Treating his church with thoughtfulness implies treating Christ himself the same way. The church is his bride, and one day he will present her clean and spotless before his father and marry her to be with him forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the church is comprised of each and every one of us, each and every member, each and every anointed, each and every person who has dedicated their life to follow Christ, who has surrendered their life to him and accepted him as their personal Lord and Savior. You and I are the church. We must be careful how we treat each other because we, in essence, are the body of Christ. We are his hands. We are his feet. We are his spokesperson. We are the body of Christ. Sometimes we speak very harshly and judgmental towards another person within the church. Would you dare to speak so harshly and judgmental to Jesus Christ? No, we wouldn't. So we must be careful how we speak to each other, how we present ourselves, how we act, how we treat each other. Not only each other, but my brothers and sisters, how we treat ourselves, how we speak to ourselves. Are we speaking to ourselves in kindness and with love like Christ has loved us? Are we judging ourselves so harshly and, and incorrectly? Would we dare speak to Jesus Christ the way we speak to each other or to ourselves? My brothers and sisters, take care of the body of Christ. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Ephesians 
chapter 4 tells us that there is one body, one spirit, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father of all. We're the body of Christ. One heart, one spirit, one voice to praise you. We are the body of Christ. Amen. What a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading of the book of Numbers. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <laughs>